What is going on everybody? Garrison with Supreme Drone Services here. Today I am showing you my preferred workflow with the Inertial Labs Recepi XT32 LiDAR payload. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is get your base station and set up on a nail or survey marker with known coordinates and start recording static data which will be used during your processing workflow. Then you want to get your drone set up. Today we are using the DJI M350. Once your drone is set up, you want to get your Recepi LiDAR payload. You want to take off the lens cover here on the LiDAR and you also want to take off the lens cover here on the camera. Once both lens covers have been removed, you want to line up the white dot here with the red dot on the M300, M350. Then you want to gently twist until the red dot and red dot align and you will hear a subtle click when the system locks into place. Now that the Recepi is on the M350, grab the antenna for the Recepi. You want to slide the antenna here into the included GoPro handlebar mount. Then you want to attach the antenna to the arm of your M350. Make sure that the antenna is snug and then wrap the cord here around the arm of the M350. Once the cord is wrapped around the arm of the M350, you want to screw in the cable here to the side of the Recepi. Now that the Recepi has been attached to the M350, the antenna has now been installed. You are going to power on your drone. Now that the drone is fully powered on, grab your USB of preference and insert here into the side of the Recepi, then power on your Recepi using the power button here towards the bottom. One thing to note, while the system is powering on, you wanna make sure you hear the audible clicks from the camera. Now that the Recepi is fully powered on, you want to grab your smart device of choice, go to your settings, turn Wi-Fi on, and connect to the Recepi Wi-Fi network. Once you are connected to the Recepi Wi-Fi network, pull up your web browser and type in 192.168.12.1. This will take you to the Recepi main user interface. Once you're here, go up to the top right and click on the three lines and click storage. Now you're gonna format your drive. Now that your device has been formatted, up in the top left click status, which will take you back to the home page. Here at the top of the screen, you can see the current status of your LiDAR system. Down a little bit, you can see how many satellites you're connected to. You wanna make sure you're connected to at least 10 satellites. You can also see the camera model and serial number. It is important that this information is here. It lets you know that your camera is active and being recognized. Here at the bottom of the screen is where you start recording data. All you do is simply press the start button. Up at the top, you want to wait until you see waiting for high velocity. Now that we see waiting for high velocity, you want to go back into your settings and make sure you disable your Wi-Fi. This is very important. Now that the Wi-Fi has been disabled, we are done with our smart device. From the time you start recording data on your LiDAR system, you typically want to wait about 30 to 40 seconds to let your system collect some static data, which will be used during the processing workflow. After 30 to 40 seconds, you are good to take your drone off. Once your drone is up to your typical flying altitude, which for me is around 60 meters, you're ready to do your calibration. For your calibration, you want to go forward in a straight line for five seconds at high velocity. Then you want to slow down and do a figure eight. Once your figure eight is completed, you are ready to start your mission. Once your mission is complete, you wanna make sure you do a high velocity straight line back to your landing pad again for at least five seconds. Then you are good to land your drone. Once your drone has been landed, you typically want to wait about 30 to 40 seconds. Let your system collect some static data, which will be used during that processing workflow. After that 30 to 40 seconds, you are ready to stop the data collection. To stop the data collection, it's a simple tap here on the power button. That will stop the data collection. Once you have stopped the data collection, you typically want to wait about 10 to 15 seconds to let the system wrap up what it's doing. After you've waited that 10 to 15 seconds, you are ready to power off your device. To power off the system, all you do is simply press and hold for four seconds. Once you press and hold for four seconds, the system will power down and you are done with your data collection process. We have a separate video diving into the processing workflow with PC Master Pro, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.